Let's take a look at the 2024 Kia EV9 GT Line. The EV9 is one of a handful of three-row SUVs that runs on pure electric power. Kia is taking aim at brands like Range Rover, Mercedes-Benz, and Rivian with the EV9, and I think they've done a great job. It definitely balances style, comfort, utility, and performance, making it one of the best SUVs you can buy. This is one of those rare vehicles that lives up to expectations in terms of the concept vehicle that was originally shown. Thanks to both front and rear motors, this all-wheel drive EV9 GT line model will go from zero to 60 in just 4.5 seconds. It's got a 99.8 kilowatt hour battery pack, which means it'll go about 270 miles between charges. Uh, it's really quick for something of its size and a very, very entertaining ride. The EV9 isn't just fast, it handles really well for a three row vehicle. I think it has a lot to do with the low center of gravity from the large battery pack underneath the floor. The paddles do something differently than you might think. Instead of shifting gears, because you're in an EV, they change the amount of regen that you have. So if I click the left one, the amount of regen gradually increases until I'm all the way at the eye pedal mode which is single pedal driving. And then if I click the right one, I'll gradually get all the way down to EV level one, which has the least regen and allows you to coast a lot more like a traditional gas powered vehicle. Opening the EV9's charging port is actually quite simple. You just push in here and it opens electrically. When you're done connecting and charging up, you'll just press this button here and it'll close. These multi-segment LED headlights are unlike anything I've seen on any other vehicle. They're very, very cool. And uh, they actually even put on a little light show at night. Despite having a rather boxy and squared off look, the EV9 is actually quite aerodynamic. And one of the things that Kia did to help with the aerodynamics is they gave it flush mount door handles. These automatically open up when you're approaching the vehicle. They'll automatically go in when you're driving to keep the exterior of the car as aerodynamic as possible. And then you can just push in and they'll lock. This ultra wide screen in the EV9 is pretty nifty. It's uh, got the left side here is all of your standard, you know, speed and uh, range information, etc. And then as you come over here, this whole part of the display is a touch screen. So the middle is your climate controls and the right side is for all the multimedia controls. Underneath that, you'll see some buttons for getting to the home and map and uh, media controls, etc. And these are actually haptic touch buttons. So they don't actually press, but they do give you some feedback when you touch them that you can actually feel. And then there are physical buttons for doing things like adjusting your temperature uh, and a actual volume knob there. The center console is pretty versatile. There's a nice big storage space underneath here where you can put, you know, a purse or a grocery bag or something. And then the center bin here slides open, gives you either a storage space or cup holders that just appear with the push of a button. So you can have one cup holder or two. And then your controls are here for auto hold and your cameras, etc. And then right here, you have a wireless uh, charging pad for your mobile devices and your phone just sits right in there. And then there's a very small storage bin underneath here. You won't need a cable to connect your phone to the EV9 either because it's got wireless support for CarPlay and Android Auto. Starting up and controlling the EV9 is a little bit different than most vehicles. The uh, start stop button is actually on the shift yoke here. So you put your foot on the brake, press down this EV button, and that'll turn on the vehicle. And then if we come back here, to shift into different gears, you'll just turn the knob. So forward for drive, reverse for reverse, and then you push in on the end of the button over here to go into park. The front seats are quite comfortable and offer a number of different settings. You have adjustable bolsters, both side bolsters and lumbar support. You also have a uh, cushion here for your legs. In order to maximize space on the dashboard and keep things nice and tidy, 
Ikea actually put the control buttons for the heated seats and the massage seats uh, and the heated steering wheel on the door. So if you press this button here, this will actually kick in the ergo motion, which is the massage seat feature. And then you've got cooling, heat, as well as uh, heated steering wheel. And then this is your memory buttons for the front seat. The EV9 GT line also comes with a 14 speaker Meridian audio system that sounds great. It's got a lot of punch and it's got these really cool looking speaker grills. Let's hop in the second row and take a look at the captain's chairs. The second row in here is really quite comfortable and spacious. There's great leg room and great headroom. Uh, in large part, that's thanks to the fact that we're in an EV and so the battery is under the floor. There's no driveline tunnel down the middle and there's just more space overall in the cabin. There are a few really thoughtful things about the second row of the EV9. Uh, one of them is that you can actually push the front seat out of your way if nobody's sitting there to give yourself more leg room. There are also USB-C ports on the backs of the seats so you don't waste space on the center console. And then you'll notice, in addition to the cup holders here, there is a bin that pulls out. It works as a tray at first, but then you can also slide it back in, and then you have a nice sized storage bin. Much like we've seen on minivans, there are ceiling vents in the second and third row, and then there's an independent climate control pod back here. So if you wanna set your temperature differently to the back of the vehicle than the front, you can do that. So to enter the back row, all you have to do is press this button here. The center row is gonna fold forward and give you space to enter. Let's see how hard it is to get into the third row. I'm six feet tall and it might be a little bit of a challenge. So we're going to step in here. That actually wasn't so bad. Getting out's a little bit more challenging, but not too terrible. If you're small enough, you can actually walk out between the two captain's chairs. As you can see, leg room is pretty tight back here if you're taller. My knees are pressing against the back of the seat in front of me, but uh, for a shorter passenger, it wouldn't be so bad to be back here in the third row. You've got a cup holder and a little storage bin on each side, as well as a USB-C port and your own speakers back here. And again, ceiling vents for climate control and your own lighting unit as well. The back of the cabin feels a lot more spacious and airy thanks to this second panel of the two-part sunroof. Let's take a look at the cargo space in the EV9. As you can see behind the third row, there's a decent amount of space. It's pretty good for groceries or maybe one set of golf clubs, a couple small suitcases. Uh, but as is the case with all three rows, you end up with some limited space behind the third row. The nice thing is that you can obviously drop these seats. You just pull this cable here and the seats go down. And then there are push buttons here. to lower the captain's chairs. So then once you've done that, you've got plenty of room to carry just about anything. If you were wondering if the EV9 had a spare tire, uh, you'd be disappointed to find that there is no spare under here. There's just an inflator kit and some tire sealant. So one question I'm sure you're asking is, does the EV9 have a front trunk? Well, let's press this button and find out. And well, it sort of has one. The frunk, if you like to call it, is a very small storage area in here. There's enough room for maybe a first aid kit or a backpack, but it's not a full-size frunk. There's a lot of Electro, electrical and mechanical componentry underneath this. And so unlike some EVs where the whole front area is open, this is really just a small storage area. As the top of the line EV9 model, the GT line all-wheel drive starts at $73,900. And this particular one with all the bells and whistles, including the special ocean blue paint, uh, came to $78,430 with the shipping and handling fees. Uh, it's a lot of money, but 
it's a great vehicle. 